Welcome everyone, I'm Kimberly Boschman and this is the Intentionally Intuitive Podcast. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the new moon that's occurring on April 1st, 2022. So this new moon occurring on April 1st or April Fool's Day is no joke. (laughs) It's actually an incredibly beautiful and rather interesting illumination. So in astrology, this new moon takes place within the sign of Aries, which as usual coincides beautifully with some of the aspects of numerology for this very nuanced energy. So let's take a look at the numerology and the energy of this new moon. So the two numbers that we'll be focusing on are the one and the master number 11, two energies. So what makes this such an interesting dynamic is that we have the energy of the one self, I am, independence, autonomy, the physical body, as well as the oneness of body, mind, and spirit, coupled with the illumination of the 11-2 energy, balance, relationships, harmony, people coming together, finding common ground, and inspiration for greater oneness, and so on. So immediately, what we can take away from this is the emphasis on the responsibility that one needs to take for how, quote unquote, I show up and contribute towards the greater good. Understanding that ultimately my actions, at least energetically, will eventually have an effect to some degree within the collective. It goes back to the ancient understanding that While we are meant to honor and celebrate our physical differences, energetically, we are one. There's often this misconception around this concept that by saying we are one, we pull everyone together and physical identities get lost. That isn't the case at all. Physically, our autonomy, our ego, our thoughts, our own personal beliefs and truths, our actions, and so much more stem from our own experiences and our own self. This physical vessel that our soul chose to experience itself within physical form in. However, energetically, everything is made up of energy, everything. And therefore, energetically speaking, We are all the same and we are all connected. So with that understanding, we begin to recognize how it is possible that our independent physical actions could create a ripple effect energetically and begin to affect the experiences of others. So this moon ultimately is really asking us to take a deeper look at how our own actions feed into the greater landscape of things. So for instance, where we choose to shop, who and what we as individuals choose to feed into and support. Are we supporting divisiveness? Or are we actively choosing to participate in ways that encourage harmony and balance and common ground? Are we choosing to hold our own beliefs while choosing to also allow another to hold theirs without conflict? It's far easier for us humans to sort of blame the external for what we, in fact, are choosing to contribute towards in some way. So does that mean that the quote unquote better choice is the easier choice? Absolutely not. (laughs) It's far easier to blame big corporations for the mess that we as individuals played a significant role in creating. For example, supply and demand. If the demand for something isn't there, then there's no reason to continue to supply it. So what are we demanding through our individual actions that is fueling the need for supply, even if we disagree with it? This can also translate into personal relationships. How is the I contributing towards the we in ways that create disharmony rather than harmony? And sometimes in order to restore that balance and harmony, the we needs to revert back to separate I's. 
As in, recognize that the union has served its purpose, and rather than forcing something to continue that isn't meant to, and then blaming the other person when it's not working, we take responsibility for our own contributions and make decisions from that space. So a big theme under this illumination, backed by the fire energy and the new beginning energies of Aries and the one, will be a period for reevaluating and making necessary changes towards how the independent contributes towards the harmony and the balance of the collective we. So we will see this also come into focus on the global stage, which is obviously very much needed, especially with everything happening within Ukraine right now and around the world. So this energy may ask you to do things much differently than you have done them before, and people may not necessarily agree or understand those, those actions. One energy is leadership energy. And so this energy will ask us to take personal responsibility and become empowered leaders within our own lives while also taking into consideration the effects of those actions and how that can, again, have sort of a ripple effect energetically into the greater community and the greater collective. What kind of energetic footprint are we creating and with what intention? If the intention comes from a place of intending to do no harm, then we are giving our energy to that intention. Imagine if we could all move from that space, or at least if the majority could. And again, this isn't about perfection because we're humans and humans are not perfect. Nothing within the universe is necessarily perfect. Everything is sort of chaos and we're just working to find the balance, you know, in the in-between. And so, but if the intention is one of doing no harm, then the majority of our actions will come from that space. Even if, you know, it's not perfect, at least we've got the intention and we're trying. So again, imagine if the majority of people could move from that space, maybe someday. Until then, this new moon and the energies of the one and master number 11 too, will encourage us to find our own unique ways to begin or to build upon what we're currently doing and already doing when it comes to this sort of energy. So I would say around this illumination and the weeks that follow, pay very close attention to what actions, what relationships, and or what experiences seem to come into center stage for you or that seem to be sort of um, more emphasized or highlighted at this time because it's very likely that those are the areas where these energies of the one and the 11 two can offer you the most assistance and the greatest opportunity for reflection and possible modification So I hope that, as always, I hope that this is a very transformative and powerful new moon for you all. I think that it will be for all of us. And again, including on the global stage, Uh, this, of course, was a general reading. If you would like a personalized reading, please book some time with me. My information is in the description box below, and I would love to do a reading for you. Okay, everyone, thank you so much for listening, for subscribing, for tuning in. I appreciate each and every one of you. Take care. I'll talk to you later. Bye for now.